Hi everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today we are doing a diamond fun fold. Um, hopefully you can see this. Um, we are using some of the Magnolia um, designer series paper as well as that embossing folder and you can see this kind of stands up by itself. Um, so it's called a diamond fold and it's a very fun um, little way to create your project. So let's go ahead and get started. So for our um, card base, we are using a piece of mossy meadow. This is cut five, um, this is 11 by five and a half, and I've scored it at five and a half. And then we are going to do some more um, marking and scoring um, on this project. So you can see I've made myself a little bit of a template. Um, so this is what it will look like when we want to put it together. And I did it in a lighter color, so hopefully that will be easier to see. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get all of these markings. Um, so now that it is scored um, at five and a half, which is the halfway mark, uh, let me just see where I'm at here. I have turned it vertically and I have made myself a mark at two and three quarters. So you can take your pencil here and just in the track, um, hopefully I'm still in frame, you can make yourself a little mark there. Then we're going to turn it back this way and we are going to make marks at two and three quarters and two and three quarters, so top and bottom, on both sides. Okay, so I'm flipping that around completely, and we're back to two and three quarters here, whoops, I felt myself move that, and here. Okay, and now we're gonna do a little bit of a crisscross. So I'm gonna take that marking here and match it up with my marking down here. Let me just try to get that better in camera for you. So I have my two and three quarters mark here and my two and three quarters mark here and we are going to score. Okay, now we're going to turn it and we're going to do the same. Oh, sorry, my light in here today is kind of bothering me with my lining up. Uh, okay, so I think looks good okay so now you can see hopefully we've got that crisscross so we've got an, an X here with a line down the middle all right now I have my mark from the vertical on this side so I think I am going to put this in at two and three quarters and now we are going to score that this way. Okay, so now you have your X, you have your line in the middle, which is the halfway mark, and you have another one here. All right, now from this side where you have the two and three quarters mark that we did in the beginning on the vertical, we are going to cut these corners out. So from this score line to this mark, we are gonna cut that on a diagonal. That's gonna give us our point. Okay, so again, you just line them up in the track and cut them off. Okay, so let me find that point again. Let's cut that off. Okay, so then it should look like this. All right, so now our two lines going this way are going to be a valley fold and our others are going to be a mountain fold. So I'm going to turn this like this. This is my mountain fold and I'm going to give this a nice burnish. I'm going to come in and do the same on this side. Okay, so those are our mountain folds. Okay, and now we're going to do our valley fold. So I'm going to fold this one up. Okay, so now you can see here is our diamond. And then if you feel like you want to come back in here, you can do that. So there is our card, our card base, okay? 
Now a couple other pieces of paper that I have here. I've got a piece of petal pink. This is cut three and five eighths square. I have a piece of the Magnolia Designer Series paper. This is cut two and a half square. We are going to cut this on the diagonal, okay? And that is what is going to fill in these two sides for us. And then I've already pre-cut the two smallest um, nested stitched labels. Um, the smallest one out of Whisper White and then one size up in the Mossy Metal. That's going to be for our sentiment. So let me grab our designer series paper here. I'm just going to put my tips in the valley of our score, our, our trimmer, and we're going to cut those in half. So this is a very easy, rather, you know, simple technique, um, but very, very fun. It gives you a nice little change of design. And I have a few more ways that you can kind of do this as well. So I'm going to lay this down. I have a couple ideas for this fold. For your writing, your sentiments, if you want to include a gift. So we will talk about those here shortly. Alright, so let's take that. I like to hold this down just so I can just kind of eyeball. Make sure I'm lined up with the other side. That looks good. Okay, and then we're going to grab our big shot because we're going to emboss our petal pink piece with our Magnolia 3D embossing folder. So let me just set that aside for a moment. Let's grab our Big Shot. Now I have my um, Big Shot platform here. I have my 3D embossing folder and I'm going to try to put my um, square kind of on the larger magnolia. So that looks pretty good. You can see some of the leaves get a little bit cut off. That's fine. I'm going to lay that down and then I'm going to use our new 3D plate on top of that and then we're going to run that through. So our 3D embossing folders are a little thinner than our old textured embossing folders, so that is why um, Stampin' Up! came out with this new plate to help you um, kind of have a better sandwich and get a better uh, emboss. Alright, so now, hopefully you can see all of that. I'm going to bring in my petal pink ink and a sponge dauber as well as my mossy metal and a sponge dauber and I have my soul saffron. Okay and you can actually even use blends here if you wanted to. I'm going to start with my petal pink first and put my little sponge dauber on. And we're just going to go ahead and add some color Let's grab our mossy meadow now. It's out a little bit of your, your flower. I have a little bit of the other magnolia on the edge here, so I'm going to add some more petal pink to that as well. Okay, now we'll do the center with our so saffron. Let me close these up before I get my fingers in them. I think I forgot to take out my sponge dauber. Let me just grab that. Yeah. Okay, here is my so saffron. And we are going to just ink up that center. Stampin' Blends will work great here too. And you know I love my Stampin' Buns, so I'm kind of surprised that I didn't use those um, on this project. Alright, so now we have that pretty much done. Let's just do our sentiment real quick while we're here, um, while we have our inks. So let me open my petal pink, and I have the thanks um, from Well Said. So let's get that out. Grab my little black. Let's ink this up. Okay, and then I'm going to pull this a little bit closer to me. Hopefully I'll get it 
Right, that's a little bit lower than I wanted, but it'll do okay. All right, so let's close that up and let's adhere our sentiment together. So I'm going to put a little, I think I grabbed my empty glue. Here's my other one. We're going to grab that and piece that together. With our little label. Whoops. That looks good. Okay, so now with our base, um, we adhered our designer series paper. We're also going to put some glue right here on this triangle, and that's going to hold that down for us. So I'm just going to not do a lot. I don't want it squishing out. That should be enough. Come in from the back. Just give that a nice, nice press. Okay, and then now this is where we are going to put down our beautifully sponged uh, centerpiece. I'm going to add some glue to this. Uh, I'm going to go this way. As you can see, this is where the diamond um, name came from. Give that a nice, nice press. Let's grab some more glue for our sentiment. And then I am just going to adhere this right here to the base. Now, um, I know most people, you like to write a little message on your card. So I have a couple ideas. You could add a message here to the bottom. So if you wanted to do that, um, you would need a piece of Whisper White that's two and five eighths by five and three eighths to fit here. You can do a little bit of stamping. You could also potentially write your message and then put it here on the back side with a Whisper White. And I also thought you could do a little bit of a gift card. Um, so like I'm just using a business card, but you can make yourself a little bit of a pocket um, back there and, you know, the gift card would kind of show. Um, if you didn't mind that popping out, that would be great. And you could do that with some of our adhesive um, foam strips, like you, the, the adhesive you use for shaker cards. Just make yourself a little pocket um, that's, you know, big enough to slide that gift card in and out, that would be a great idea as well. I mean, potentially you could put a message here too. So it's kind of completely up to you. It's very versatile. You can really play with this a little bit. Um, I do love though how the magnolia paper just pops on this mossy meadow and then with a little bit of the sponging and I like how it stands up by itself. So I hope you guys have enjoyed um, today's fun fold, our diamond fun folds project. You can find a full supply list in the description of this video and I look forward to being back with you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.